Hey Libra, I'm gonna make this little note and I'm gonna attach this to the beginning of your reading and then you'll see me start your reading again. Um, I actually stopped recording and then I heard Spirit just tell me, tell them your story. So I'm gonna tell you my story and I want you to understand how this works for the reading I'm about to give you. So I'm gonna attach this to the beginning of the, um, of the reading, okay? Um, I was living in a lack mentality where, so yeah, I do, I'm an entrepreneur. So I, I had this belief or this fear thought that I picked up from my surroundings that let me think that I'm always hoard, that I have to hoard my money, that I have to hold on tight to my energy, that I don't know where the next thing's going to come from. So I need to hang on to this to feel safe. So let me tell you what actually happened with that. So here I was, um, taking whatever money came into my Venmo account, people that owed me or I did dog sitting or whatever, you know, did various little things and someone would send me money and I'd be like, oh, I'm running really low on my bank account so I should immediately send that money over there so I don't have to panic and maybe it'll rescue me and I'll be saved and there'll be just enough money in there for me to be okay, right? And then I'd send it and then I'd relax and I would feel like I just saved my butt. That money saved my butt. That person coming in and rescuing me saved my ass. And I just sent it to my bank account and I should probably be okay. And I was winging a prayer, just hoping and praying, right? And then the end of the year came. A whole year went by. And I believed, my little baby Chihuahua wants me to pick her up. Come here, come here, come here. So I believed that this money was rescuing me as I was sending it to the bank account, right? And the end of the year came and I, I found a card in my wallet for like a Chime bank account or something. I'm like, wait, what did I sign up for? Is this a credit card or what is this? So I look it up and it's a bank account that I signed up for online that I did nothing with. But what I did do was I attached my Venmo to it. And I was, I guess I told myself I was gonna like save some money or send some things over there. But what I didn't realize was every time I thought I was rescuing myself and sending Venmo over to my bank account, I actually was sending it to this online account that I never saw. I wasn't touching. So by the end of the year, I had almost $500 in there and I went and got it, this haircut, right? The reason I didn't get my haircut before is because I was limiting, limiting myself thinking, oh, I can't afford that. I need to save my money because there won't be more coming and I'll never, you know, but so it turns out I never needed to be rescued. I didn't need to hoard my money because all that money that I was, uh, quote unquote, moving to my bank account to save me wasn't actually moving to my account and wasn't actually saving me. What saved me was my belief that I was safe. And then I was safe. More money showed up or, you know, people book readings or I got a coaching client or whatever, right? But the thing is, I thought I'd sent all that money to my bank account and I never did. And so that's how I got my hair cut. And now I'm laughing about it. So let money go. Help other people. Don't just frivolously spend it. Use it for the things you actually need and trust that more will come when you're doing the right things with your money. You understand? It wasn't that I needed the money to rescue myself. I just needed to believe that I was safe. And I was. None of that money ever went to my bank account. And there it was at the end of the year. You understand? So I'm going to leave that there and let's go ahead and start your reading now. Hi Libra, this is Crystal Rose. I'm a comfy soul. Welcome to the channel. I'm here to do your reading. So I'm going to start with Angel Therapy by Doreen Virtue. Um, whatever other decks I end up choosing, um, I'll call them out. If I remember, I'm doing a pretty good job with that. <laughs> if you're interested in any of these decks, you can find an Amazon affiliate link down below and you can peruse and purchase if you like. Okay, so let's get cranking on your reading and see what we have for you. I see you doing some work. I see you starting a side hustle, going into a new business. I see you working for something you weren't working for before. Getting a very strong message that the answer to your problems is in work. There's something that you're afraid to go after or you're not doing now that you can help yourself get out of a situation. So um, Spirit's giving me an example. 
you have a job. It's not paying you enough. You found yourself in some debt or whatever. Maybe things slowed down or you work for commission or something, right? Why not, if you already have a vehicle, go drive Uber for a couple hours here and there. Go make some extra cash. Do something intentional. Because the very first thing they gave me was workshops and seminars. I think you have a big purpose. I think you have something huge that you're launching that has been a long time coming that is going to be the thing that really lights you up, that is your purpose, that is going to make you very abundant and be in the direction of all of your dreams. Something you have to teach. There is a workshop, a school, a teaching thing, something that's going to be very successful. They want you to visualize the success of you doing this work, okay? Um, the reason it works is because you are going to be shining your divine feminine energy. It's magical. It's nurturing. It's knowing exactly who you are, sitting on your throne, and being that. Okay, so let me explain goddess energy to you, or like God energy. This is saying, I'm not going to overwork, but I'm going to put out my best effort because I know I deserve good things back. But not just sitting there and doing nothing and expecting to be waited on hand and foot. You understand? This is an energy of somebody who says, I am a boss. I know how to take care of my home. I know how to nurture myself. I take care of my body. I eat right. I drink water. I bathe. <laughs> I do all the things. I scrub my feet. I get mani pedis. Whatever it is that you do to self-nurture and love yourself. Meditation. Balanced practice mental exercises, right? And then... Trusting that intuition and clairvoyance to take action on those things that you're seeing when you're meditating, when you're sitting in silence, when you hear an idea in your head. And I know damn well that's how it's coming in because we have the third eye chakra popping off. I think you're supposed to use your intuition. I think you have psychic skills you're not using. I think that if you put them out and share them, you're going to be hugely rewarded and people are going to hand over their credit card to learn what you have to say. The thing that's stopping you is your sensitivity. You're afraid to show up. You're afraid to take on the energy. You're afraid to be nurturing and feminine. You're afraid to be in your soft energy. And this is including men. Don't think men can't be soft. You probably need it more than the women do, right? Um, be, this macho pride thing is not going to get you to where people want to honor you and give to you. Macho pride shuts down energy and leaves you in a little bubble by yourself. Whereas... Being somebody who's balanced in your masculine and feminine will say, look, I'm a boss. I am a man. I can take care of the household, but also I know how to love and cherish you and hold your hand and ask if you're okay. That is a balanced human being. And by doing that and going out and doing that in an actual school you're opening or a service you're providing, you will be hugely successful. So they need you to speak up. They need you to start talking. Throat chakra energy. Start speaking up. Start sharing those thoughts and feelings. Be nurturing. Be emotional. Share feelings. Okay, power animal fell out. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Stephen Farmer power animal oracle card deck. And we're going to grab you a power animal and see what you're working with right now. Let me give this a solid shuffle. One more. This flew out. The hawk. Focus. Choose your priorities and eliminate all distractions. If you have been all over the place with your feelings, this is time for you to balance yourself. You're a Libra for a reason. Libra is literally balanced scales of justice. Your mission in life to be a true Libra. You're not born a Libra. As you go through life, you learn to become a Libra. That's how sun signs work. You aren't just born awesome, right? I mean, you were, but to be the ultimate awesome state, you need to work through that to be your actual sign. So a Libra needs to be balanced. It needs to be focused. You need to have your energy focused in the direction of your goals. So if you've been doing anything else with your energy or your money, not investing in your future, not investing in work, not investing in your savings, you're being asked to reprioritize. You understand? That will take all the worries out. Instead of just being some flighty person who's not getting what you really want. Because I see you want something very specific and it has to do with money and work. But you need to say, I'm going to work for that and this is what I'm going to do. 
not just hope that it shows up. You understand? Like, in other words, we'd all just sit back and hope. And then, and then what? We'd hate other people who got the stuff and we didn't? That's not fair. You want something, work for it. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's not a surprise. This isn't a surprising reading. <laughs> it's like, you want something, make it happen. Right? Yes. Appreciate the beauty inside and all around you. This is moving forward with grace. This is, I, I'm literally seeing somebody in my mind's eye right now throwing a tantrum. Like, huh, what do you mean I have to work for my money? Seriously? Look, we all want to be taken care of, but like, make some efforts to be in gratitude for what you have now. And if you want more, be in gratitude for what you have right now. Really enjoy it. Be really grateful to God and then say, it would be great if I had a cherry on top. I would love this. Let me... Let me go save money for extra cherries, right? But be appreciative of the space that you're in right now and you will get more. That's where more comes from. More comes from extreme gratitude. Be super grateful for the position you're in right now. Because there are people that have it worse and you could absolutely have it worse and maybe you've actually had it worse before. So you know what that is and feels like. Don't put yourself back in that past energy. Move forward. It's it's yours to control. You're in charge of it. Yes, and have fun doing it. Dolphin energy. Be playful. Work doesn't have to be boring or lame. You can enjoy what you're doing. This is your path. It's your hustle. And maybe, maybe you're retired. Maybe you don't want to like work anymore or that's not what you have to do, but you're not enjoying yourself. Maybe save a little bit of that money for a vacation if you're on a fixed income. Um, but you need to play. Do something intentional with your with your energy and your money. Don't just, you know, randomly do whatever with it and then not have anything to show for it. Have a memory made. Save for that vacation. Then go on the vacation and take photos and you'll have that memory forever. Even if you get dementia and Alzheimer's. Like... <laughs> There will be evidence that you had a good time that you can look back and appreciate. Because right now you're not appreciating. You're not in gratitude. Not all the time, anyway. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, advice. Let's get some advice. Where do you want this to come from? I'm going to grab it from Ascended Masters Oracle Cards. Let's get Ascended Masters. Who is this? Is this Dory? It is Dory Virtue. Ascended Masters. Oh, two things flew out. What are they? <laughs> I'm so done with this reading. Okay. Spiritual Law of Attraction. What you manifest, what you put out there is what you're going to get back. So you make this happen. You're the energy that makes this happen. Law of Attraction. And nurture yourself. Mother Mary. Like, take care of you. Honestly, genuinely have gratitude for the fact that you're still alive. Take care of your body. Treat yourself right and then go after your goals. Don't just sit here and wait for something magical to happen. You make magic happen. Okay? I'm actually going to grab one card from Mary since Mary showed up. So let's grab Mary, Queen of Angels by Doreen Virtue. And grab one card here. Let's make it good. Give Libra hugs. Let them feel awesome. Ah, oh, see? Flow. Give and receive. Don't hoard. Give. And you will receive tenfold back. Flow. Flow with the energy. Give and receive. Don't hoard all your money. Don't hoard all your time and attention and energy just for you. Give to other people and you will get so much more back. So I highly suggest... Following through with this teaching, if this is not the teaching thing for you, then, you know, tithe. Give back to the church. Watch it come back to you. Something like that. You know, give to other people. Um, this is beautiful energy. What does it say? I balance being generous and receptive because both are equally important. The way that you get more is to let go of. Give a little, get a lot back. Give more. The more you hoard and hold on to money and energy and yourself and do nothing the less you get. It just, it stops all flow. They're showing me like a river delta. Like, so a creek that's coming down and it's meeting, they're showing me east coast. So this is like the Mississippi River that goes down to the ocean. 
my ears are ringing. So maybe someone who's watching this right now is in this area. Uh, if that's you, raise your hand, say hi. <laughs> I want to know who I'm talking to. Um, they're showing me how it's flowing. And then this limiting belief, this idea of, no, I'm not, I'm not working for this. I'm not collecting water. I'm not going to collect that free water in a bucket for me to enjoy and play in. I'm going to put up a dam because I don't want anybody else's energy coming into my energy. I don't want to share my energy. I'm stopping the flow of water, which is emotions. And there's a dam built. And it's not able to flow into the ocean and become a bigger thing. It's being stopped and it's trickling down and drying up into a little creek when it was a giant Mississippi River that was joining forces with the amazing ocean. But you damned it. You damned it with negative thinking and negative beliefs and small thoughts and lack of action. And it's drying up. You understand? I hope that made sense. Um, giving and receiving. So give and receive, okay? What else? You can't just sit there and receive. It's not going to happen like that. You have to be able to give as well. One more from Mary. God, I step out of the way and surrender any need for control. Stop trying to control things. I think that's why you're not doing anything. You're trying to control stuff, but you're just sitting there worrying. You know what I mean? I step out of the way and surrender any need for control in order to make room for God's healing love to flow through me and this situation. See, that was an accurate image I had with the flow. I'm telling you, God's got this. Don't expect failure. I'm hearing that, that you're actually expecting failure, which is why you're not doing something about it. Stop that. Stop. <laughs> Gentle smacking. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that was motivating for you and got you out of fear thoughts because there's really nothing holding you back. There's so much money and fun and abundance and I see trips and playtime. You just got to give. Give to others and you will get way more back, okay? I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. If you receive this reading, write down below, I receive this. I receive God's blessings. I receive these gifts. I will put in the work. Whatever, whatever it is that I said that resonates with you, own that. Receive it. Make it happen. Open up the dam. And uh, I'm going to leave you there. Have a great brainstorming session with your heart. <laughs> Open up, share, and receive. And I thank you so much for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Bye. Oh, one more thing. If you'd like a personal reading and you want to make sure that you're heading down the right path with your business idea or you want to make sure you're giving to the right people because maybe you gave to the wrong people before, come get a reading. Let's work it out so you know where's the right place to put your energy, okay? ComfySoul.com, links down below. Book yourself. You'll avoid scammers and spammers. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye.